Now, many Brave fans would have you believe that trailing three games to one, they had the cards exactly where they wanted them. Tom Glavin followed the lead last night, set in games five and six by John Smoltz and Greg Maddox. He pitched seven innings of three-hit ball, not to mention he belted a three-run triple in the first, from which the Braves never looked back. With more now on how the team of the 90s is living up to its name, here's Bonnie Bernstein. Here's Javi Lopez, the pitch. Long, a high drive into center field. Back goes Jordan to the wall, out the wall, he leaps. The ball is caught. On a team that's known for its pitching, it was hitting that fueled Atlanta's smashing success in Game 7. One word to describe the Braves' bats tonight. One word. Hot. Hopefully we can carry it on. One word. Awesome. The offense has taken a lot of heat through the fact that, you know, we 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 uh, we play a lot of one-run games in the postseason, a lot of close games. Hopefully now our offense will get a little bit of credit. You know, now our last three games, our, our offense has answered the bill, and we've accomplished some unbelievable things. And to top it all off, it was the pitcher whose bases-clearing triple was the biggest hit of the game. Tom Glavin, now the only pitcher in NLCS history to pull off a three-bagger. I heard you took extra BP yesterday. Is that true? Well, I was out here uh, the other day during the, the off day for workout and, and got some swings in, so uh, it paid off tonight in a big way. Smolty got two hits his last game, and, and I really need to get another one to even out our bet. The numbers will astound. Lopez and Lemke alone tied an NLCS record with eight hits each in three straight games. Chipper Jones, 11 for 26 over the series. Game 7's 15-run total, better than any other in league championship series history. Lemmer got some huge hit, hits for us in the in this series. Uh, you know, clutch two out hits. Javi hit the long ball. He hit doubles. Things just were going my way. I mean, uh, like I said, I just come out every day and try to contribute offensively or defensively. And, uh, you know, the offense has been picked up in the last couple days. But uh, I think everybody's was swinging pretty hot bat. They, you know, put on quite a display of hitting. And, and yet, uh, you know, we knew there's really nothing we could do about it. You know, we couldn't, we didn't match them run for run. They took their rips and uh, when it happens it's contagious and uh, it was contagious tonight because those guys just I mean it was hit after hit after hit. Sure Atlanta got solid pitching from Smoltz, Maddox and Glav in the last three games but the hitting line truly tells the story. 32 runs on 46 hits. Pitching? Who needs pitching? In Atlanta, Bonnie Bernstein, ESPN. Bonnie, thanks. It's only the eighth time in Major League history that a team has folded after a 3-1 lead in the postseason. The Cards have the honor of being so victimized three times. No other team has blown a 3-1 lead more than once. Bob. The sport that needs heroes and needs gentlemen lost one of the all-time best last night. It was Ozzie Smith's final game for the Cardinals after 19 Major League seasons and 13 gold gloves. Tony La Russa, with whom Ozzie did not see eye-to-eye -eye this season, did give the Wizards the chance to bow out with grace, pinch-hitting him late in the 15 to nothing loss. the sixth inning he goes out inauspiciously at the plate fouling out down the right side he said the moment almost an anti-climax having already had his number retired but it was his last game anybody that's been around any sport or uh, hit, have any competitive bone in their body uh, wouldn't want things to end this way you know but you know things don't always go the way we want them to some folks never learn that. No major league shortstop turned more, D, no, uh, more DPs. Nobody ever did it. Nobody had more assists. Nobody won more gold gloves. Second all-time in games played at short. Fourth all-time in fielding percentage.